So here is today, the 16th. I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I have already done my Boston entry. I think there's only one more day on that and then I won't have to be doing that anymore. But um, that's actually usually the first thing I do because it's so easy. Need to go to the bank, need to pull money out for my sinking funds, go to save a lot and all these. And then maybe I'll try and do some of these things that I wasn't able to get done earlier in the week. But that's the plan for the day. Nine more days of Christmas, yay! sick and he's a trooper he came out and helped me with my car bless his heart there's also a parking van so we have to get carly off the street 36 hours so Ooh. happy vlog everyone oh gosh it's cold i couldn't find my headband so i had to wear this yarny goodness today lots and lots of yarny goodness uh, oh did i i didn't tell you guys um i made another sale on our essay shop and i'm pretty excited about it yay i also learned to ship from my house so that worked really good i'm pretty excited about that so random updates okay so i just came out of save a lot and the save a lot stuff is going to be on the haul because that's where it belongs. But I just want to share with you, um, in the, the little markdown section that they had, they had these fruit cakes and they're not like the pretty round ring fruit cakes with the, you know, beautiful nuts and cherries on top. They are like the, the square, you know, it looks like a, like if you cut them, they would be bricks. And they were like three dollars and i'm like i'm gonna get one of those i almost i came this close to getting them because look those are wes's favorite he loved those like i was like i'll just get him and send him to him no i won't oh, sad that makes me sad i still really miss him a lot So I just came out of Aldi's and I need to go to the bank next. I'm debating on whether I need to go to Penny's and I think I just might call them. I'm so, I'm getting tired. Like the sickie is kind of like, I'm like done this, done this. And now I'm kind of like, so I'm thinking maybe this week I just need to do light duty on the running around. Honest to Pete, this is like the fastest run around I've ever done. Let's see what time it is. It it's 9.50 and I'm pretty sure I didn't leave before 8.30 so this is like the fastest grocery shopping I've done in like ages and maybe that's a good thing because I don't know that I have a ton of energy today. Ugh, I haven't done my planner thing yet this morning either. I need to do that. On the other, on the, did you know speaking of my planner thing is that I've been Instagramming, I've been trying to Instagram once a day and a lot of times I it's planner based for me right now because it's kind of like a simple thing that I do every day um, and it's a and it's how I organize my day so it's kind of like hey here's the thing here's a plan um, but I did Instagram some meat deals today so um, just saying if if you're interested I would love to have you at Instagram and if you're not subscribed here I would love to have you around all the time. True story. Chicken, I got, I managed to get into pans because I have zero pans left. The oven's preheating and I'm gonna get these in and cooking because they are a hot mess. Literally, I had to pour liquid out of this and out of that. Did you eat all your banana? Banana phone. Nah, 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 nah. Banana phone. Nah, 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 nah. Go get another one if you want it. I don't want it. Okay. All right, so this is a project started. This is my chicken stock from yesterday, which is done. I just need to deal with it, but I'm not ready to deal with it just yet. It's on low. It's been a cooking for a while. Ugh. 
So I'm doing some meal prep with these chicken thighs and I'm going to make some curry chicken and the reason I'm going to do that is because I can put lots of fat in it because I've got olive oil in the bottom. I'm going to get some butter in this and I'm going to add coconut milk which is going to be another good fat for it. Um, so first and foremost you put your oil in, let it get hot and you want it to kind of melt down your paste, the red curry paste right now and I have probably two and a half tablespoons. So that's the start. So I have one can of coconut milk in here which is like two and a half cups and it's kind of melted down and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to probably get two or three cups of chicken stock which I just made uh, and pour that in. Hold on, honey, I'm cooking for a second here. Hold on, I'm cooking. What did I say, Elsa? All right, I got my four chickens in here. That was about half of my smallest. Oh, no, this wasn't my small. Yeah, it was my smallest pack. So um, we're just going to let that simmer for about 20 minutes second batch of curry but I'm going to use the yellow curry this time the red curry is hotter than the yellow curry and it, it tastes like curry both of them but they are different so I have about three or four tablespoons of uh, olive oil and a half a stick of butter same thing as I started there so curry that I'm using I, I used two heaping tablespoons so it probably like scant three tablespoons. All right, so I just added my chicken stock and you can see that it's starting to get warm. My back one's just now starting to kind of, oh there, boil, which is good. And I'm gonna put in four chicken thighs in this one. And then they will need, oh, I'm gonna put in five because that's how many's left in the package here. Oh, they're like suctioned in. Mm. Good gravy. It's not glorious cooking. And yeah, we're just going to put this last one in. So, some keto meal prep. Love doing that. And essentially, I have a $1.45 worth of meat in these two pots. Um, it's $3 worth of coconut milk. And if you were buying the um, chicken stock, it would be, well, I put in two cups, so that's one can, so that's 50 cents if you get it from all these. So, $3.50, $4.50, and there's, there's going to be nine meals here. Now, I will need to put a vegetable with this, but um, you know what? That's like nine lunches, like for $5. I'm just saying... Well, and I guess you have to buy the curry paste, but I use like a nickel's worth of curry paste. I think that curry paste was $4 for the container. So really it's cheap. Even if you bought both of those, you're still looking at like in the realm of $10, 12, under 12, under 15 for sure. And that curry will make many, 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 many meals. So like I said, we're just going to let this uh, go and uh, we'll come back when it's done is what I got out of that that batch. Now bear in mind I do have some meal preps on the stove going and I did use four cups and then there was probably like a half a cup left in the thing that I just didn't think would fit in here so I dumped it in there. So we'll call it five cups are over there boiling on the stove but this is two liters. Oh my gosh that's a lot um, and if I can turn this around spilling it this is eight cups so there's this this is the two quart line right here so I got a ton this is the yellow sauce that I have left over I took um, all of the red and all of the the yellow um, the red cooled and I put it up and then the yellow cooled enough for me to put it in containers for the wheat preps put two chicken thighs because the chicken thighs were really small um, in each one and then two cups of sauce with it. They are in the fridge right now cooling And I also ate one of those. Can you see I have two reds a yellow and a half and half? Because I ate some and we were real good. All right, so then 
over on the stove. I have a full tray cooking right now, and I'm going to use two thighs, or like this one's like a giant thigh, and put them in bags and get them frozen with the sauce that's left over. I think I still have like three more trays, and I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with. And then if you look, I got these guys back up. This is hot cooking here too. They're going to be about ready to come out soon. I'm going to eat that skin. Looking forward to it. I got all of my chicken breasts deboned and that was the easiest deboning I have ever done. It was so simple. And I know this you can't see very well, but I did just get it started. I have dried onion, the last of it I cleaned out this container, dried celery from my pantry, and then a splash of apple cider vinegar, which Kate, Caitlin Byers reminded me to do. I knew that, but you know, sometimes you need a friend to go, hey, what about that? All this meat came off in like two giant, two hunks in like the breast and the tenderloin. This is the tenderloin, these little ones, and obviously the breast. And if you look at the breast, the tenderloin is right here. And it's like all the bones and everything came off and went together, boom, right in here. Oh my gosh, it was so easy. Why have I said to not really do this? And you know what? I owe an apology to, there is a viewer and can't remember the name of this person but this person's like I really like these I really like these I really like these and you know what and I was like nah, they're not for me kind of like meh but you know what that viewer was 100% right so if you're in my comments reading them just know there's a lot of wisdom there so that was like the best 99 cents ever because the meat to bone ratio this is way way more affordable than buying the boneless skinless so, just giving you the update on that. Love, love, love these. 